Hi, so this video is about the bathroom zone pack and in this video you might find this is your first time using it or it could be just you just need a refresher. So your bathroom pack consists of four products. The first one is your bathroom glove which is the same on both sides and I tend to just use one side of the glove to clean bathroom number one and then I flip it over and I use the second side to clean bathroom number two. That's what works for me, you choose what works for you. Um, with any in your fibres, before you start using them, you need to wash them, which is covered in a different video. But um, I'm going to assume that you've washed this and it's all ready to go. So when you're using it, you put your hand in the glove, you spread your fingers nice and widely, you don't cup your hand, you don't, you don't keep your fingers together like that, nice and wide. And when you're using the fibre, always nice and firm, not heavy, not light. And um, if you come across anything hard, you don't press, you don't start doing this and really pressing hard. You just ease off the pressure, spray a bit more water and keep going. Usually at the bottom of the shower screen when it starts to get a bit scummy, that's where you'll find it. So that being said, you put your hand in the glove, I start in the cleanest area, I work the dirtiest area of my bathroom, so I start in my shelf, my mirror top to bottom, then in my sink area, and either my bath or shower last, whatever, you know, whatever, however the dirt, your dirty your bathroom is. So you just spray a nice fine spray of water, not too much, you don't want all your, your fibres ending up soaking, so it's a nice fine spray, um, and you just, circular motion or on the mirror, and then you use your fill to dry. So this is your fill. And I tend to fold it up into sections because I find I get more out of it doing that way. And I have a two-touch system. So imagine this is a pane of glass between you and I. And when I'm drying, I do horizontal and then I do vertical. And then I'll go into the next section, horizontal and vertical. Now it'll look really streaky, but what I want you to do is just trust me. Just trust me and, it, and ignore the streaks and stop buffing. Move away and it'll all disappear. Trust me. Okay, I know it's difficult, but just trust me. I want you to be cleaning your bathroom in about five, seven minutes, and no longer at all. Um, so that's your glove and your annual fill. The next thing we have in the bathroom zone pack is your dual cloth, which is on one side, the same as your bathroom glove. And on the other side, it has this really fluffy side to it. And that is for drying. So I use that on my toilet. So it does all my cistern, it does the outside of my bowl, the seat area, the lid, all you know, all that jazz on the outside. And then once I've cleaned with, with this side, I then use that side to dry. And it just means that I am not using this um, or using this to dry my toilet and then I'm going to do my next bathroom. It's psychological, but that's just the way I like to do it. So this is what I use to clean my toilet. And in between bathroom washes, once this has been washed at 40 degrees, all the bacteria is gone. So you're more than ha you can more than happily use this to clean your sink area. Um, you know, if you just need to do a quick wash when, when people turn up unexpectedly. Um, and then you can do your sink in your WC area and then just do your toilet and then just shove it back in the washing machine. Um, and the last but not least in the bathroom zone pack, I have the bathroom wand. The bathroom wand um, is your bleach and toilet duct replacement. So when I go into my bathroom, initially I take in an old jar, which is an old pickled onion jar. I fill it up with hot water from the tap, because remember, I don't want it to be boiling water. Anyone doesn't like temperatures of over 70 degrees. So I fill it up at the tap, and when I clean my toilet, because when this goes down into the cold water, the fibres will stay locked. It'll pick up all the bacteria all up underneath the rim and then I pop it in my jar of hot water. And it just sits in there until I'm taking it through to the second bathroom, and then I put it down the toilet, it's cold again, the fibres all seal up, I can clean down that toilet, put it back in the hot water, and when I go to my third toilet, I just empty the water away, flush the plug to make the water down the toilet cold again, clean my toilet, and then this goes in the washing. So it's just really simple, and um, you know, you don't need to worry about um, carrying things about the house with you. When I'm washing it, it all goes inside here and I put this in the machine. You can pop it off if you want. You can pop this wee um, fibre off there, like so. So you can either just put the fibre in and that's what Enyo suggests. Me personally, I put the whole stick in, as I like the whole stick to be clean. Now you do that at your own risk, I'm afraid. <laughs> and this is not um, Enyo's suggestion by any means, but this is what I've been doing in my machine now for a few years and I've heard of other people that are doing it. No problems to machines and no problems to wands. But like I said, it's your risk. So it goes in the bag 
with everything else and I wash that in with my whitewash 40 degrees and that is enough to get rid of all the bacteria and it's all just good to go again for the next bathroom wash. Thank you very much. Bye.